wicked red heels wearing goals known as Miss Koi Koi. Lady Koi Koi or Madam Koi Koi has survived the times and still haunts many secondary school students in several countries across Africa, most especially the boarding students who live in haunted hostels. Miss Koi Koi, also known in Ghana as Madam High Hill or Madam Moke, and in Tanzania as Miss Konkoko, is a ghost who haunts dormitories, hallways, and toilets in boarding schools at night. While in these schools, she haunts toilets and students who come to school too early or leave school late. She is often depicted wearing a pair of red heels or wearing a single heel, and the name Koi Koi is gotten from the sound her heels makes whenever she comes to pray on student at night. There are two different accounts of the story of Miss Koi Koi. We have the story from Nigeria and the story from Ghana and in this video we shall be bringing to you the two different accounts of this interesting but scary story. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, you're highly welcome to Loro MA TV and please do well to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we upload a new video. We upload very interesting contents every day and without further ado, let's jump right into our story. In Nigeria, the story of Miss Koi Koi has two separate versions and according to the first version, Miss Koi Koi is said to be a very beautiful secondary school teacher who loves wearing red heels. Her shoes always make the Koi Koi sound whenever she walks around the school hallways or the school environment. Story also has it that Miss Koi Koi was mean and very wicked to her students. She took pleasure in always flogging her students even when they do nothing wrong. One fateful day, Miss Koi Koi slapped a female student and inflicted some injuries to her ears. When the news got to the parents of the wounded student, they angrily stomped the school and a fight broke out between them and Miss Koi Koi. Angered by the report, the school authority decided to sack Miss Koi Koi and while she was driving home in her old Pujo car, frustrated Miss Koi Koi had an accident and she died on the spot. Before her death, she had already swore to carry out her revenge on the school for sacking her and also on the student for being mischievous. Not too long after her death, students of the secondary school said at night they would hear a koi koi sound in the hallways of their dormitories after lights out and almost like the clicking of heels on the floor. They kept hearing the sound repeatedly every night and they could see objects moving on their own. One night, one of the students summoned courage and walked towards the direction of the sound and the student was attacked by Miss Koi Koi ghost and the next morning, the student passed away. This led to the closure of that very school. The second version of Madame Koi Koi's story depicts her as a stylish woman who prioritizes her looks and enjoys looking beautiful, her signature red high heels. She was also very wicked to students in the school she worked in. She would flog them for no reason and she inflicted pains on several students. The students then decided to take laws into their own hands since the school authority had refused to do anything about her behavior and wickedness. One night, while Miss Koi Koi was walking home in a lonely path after night duties in the dormitory, the student attacked her and beat her up mercilessly until she gave up the ghost and after killing her, they threw her over the school fence and all ran away. All the students who participated in her killing 
disappeared from the school one by one with no one knowing their whereabouts but the very boy who hit her with the shoe did not disappear but she kept tormenting him he then confessed to other students how they killed miss koi koi but nobody took him serious he also complained about the sound he hears every night one night while everyone was asleep he had the sound again and decided to go confirm where the sound was coming from and he was attacked by her ghost and beaten to death after his death the school was shut down and the students all moved to different schools to spread the tale of the dreaded ghost miss koi koi According to Ghanaians, Madame High Hill or Madame Moke used to be a teacher in one of their boarding schools. The students she thought were very stubborn and she was fond of chasing them around. One day, she was chasing a student who ran across the streets and she tried running across to catch him, wearing just one leg of her shoe. And in the process, she was hit by a car and she died on the spot. Since then, she has been hunting students in different school dormitories at night with a single leg of her red heels, crying and searching for the other shoe. This is the Ghanaian version of the story. So guys, we would like to hear your own Miss Koi Koi story. Growing up, we all heard of this story and it came in different version. Feel free to drop your own accounts of the Miss Koi Koi story in the comment section below. Your comments are highly welcomed. Thanks for watching and do have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.